Hello everybody, in this video I'm going to show you how to use the three-point arc tool or just how to create arcs in general and on shape. And so as you can see right here uh, with this piece, uh, basically all the shapes that we've been creating so far have just been straight edged, right? Um, and so if we actually look at the top view of this, uh, you will notice that there's actually some curve to this object, okay? And so in this video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to add those curves in there, okay? And basically what we're going to be creating is our arcs, all right? So an arc is a uh, specific part of a uh, circumference of a circle, right? And so <clears throat> what we're going to do is I just reset my drawing. I'm going to go ahead and hit sketch, and then I'm going to create this on the top view here. So we're going to be creating this in the top plane. And so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and create a center point rectangle, uh, just for an easy example. And then I'm going to make this four inches by three inches in uh, credit dimensions. Okay. And so now uh, if you go up here to the toolbar, you will see that there is this option to create a three point arc. And so when creating arcs, there's all these different possibilities of what you can do. You can use the tangent arc tool. You can use the center point arc tool. You could also use the conic um, tool where you can create a conic, basically. Okay, so three-point arc, let's go ahead and click on that. Uh, so with a three-point arc, basically what you do is you select the starting point. So this will be the starting point of our arc. And as I move around here, you can see <clears throat> that um, the arc will stay uh, stationed right there as the first point. And so now what I've got to do is select the ending point of the arc. So I'm going to go ahead and connect it to this point right here. And then so now the arc is created. We know the beginning point and the end point. However, there is one thing else that we need to set up, uh, and that is the radius for this. So this is known as the radius of curvature. Uh, so I can just click anywhere. And so now, as you can see, it's, it's saying R5.427. Basically, what that's telling us is that the radius of curvature or the radius of um, this circle or this arc that's being created is basically 5.427. So if I want to change that, let's say to something like 16, and I press enter, then as you can see, the, um, I guess the curve of this arc is a lot more shallow, right? And so the reason why that is, is because basically what we're determining is it's basically taking a section of a circle that has a radius of 16, okay, 16 inches. So if I actually would go in here and then if I would create a circle, let's say I'm going to center it or here. I'll just put it right here for now. And so let's say that the diameter is 16 times 2, which is 32. Um, and so let's put that in there. And then now if I actually move this center of this circle to line this up with this center right down here, as you can see, those circles line up, okay? And so that's basically what the radius of curvature is. It's the radius of that circle. And then since it's an arc, we're just taking the section from this point to right here, okay? So anyways, let's go ahead and let's add some more, um, let's add some more um, arcs in here, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and add an arc and three-point arc right here to right here, and I'm gonna make this radius, let's make this like eight. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do eight on the sides here. So let's add another uh, arc over here. Also that radius will be eight. Let's enter, and then let's add finally this arc right here. And then let's make this one 16 as well. Oh, don't want one. Hold up here. Um, yeah, so this ended up giving me an issue because we obviously cannot have a radius of one for our circle because that would be a pretty small circle, right? It wouldn't be able to span this point and this point. So let's go ahead and as I was saying, we're trying to make it 16. So there we go. And so now we're good. As you can see, the red went away in our sketch text and then also all the red went away in here. So I'm going to click the green check mark. And so now we have our object. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and click the extrude button. And then this time, I'm just going to select sketch one over here. Uh, it's going to be an easy way that it will select all the um, entities in that sketch. Uh, because if I would go in here and then select it from here, I'd have to literally sketch or select each sketch piece. And so as you can see, that takes a little bit longer than just clicking on sketch one. Okay. But anyways, let's go ahead and click the, uh, let's put in depth. I'll make that, let's make it 0.75 inches. 
and then we're going to go ahead and click the green check mark and then so now as you can see we've created um, this object that uses a three-point arc anyways got any questions shoot me an email i'll be glad to help bye bye everybody